So in this question, we want to find the percentage of a quantity. The quantity is $35 and the percent we're trying to find is 15%. The first thing we'll do is change our percentage to a decimal. Okay, so take our fifteen percent and as we've done before, divide that by one hundred to give us zero point one five. The second step is to multiply the decimal by the quantity. So number two, undo that, number two, take our decimal, which is 15.15, and multiply that by $35. Plug it into the calculator, will give us five dollars and twenty five cents. Now try that with the jacket question below. Just make sure there's a problem with the wording, it shouldn't be the sale price. So the regular price of the jacket's eighty nine dollars, it's sold at twenty five percent off. So what is the 75% of the original price? Pause the recording and do it on your own, and then I'll solve it for you when you play again. So because the jacket is 25% off, we're only paying for 75% of the original price. So $89 is 100% of the price, we take 25% off that, we're only paying for 75% of the jacket's original price. That means that we can solve this by firstly finding 75% as a decimal, so making that, dividing that by 100, as we did earlier, giving us 0.75. The second thing we can do, or need to do, is take the quantity and multiply that by 0 0.75. And your answer should be that the jacket would cost you $66.00 and 75 cents. Another way to do that would be to find 25% of the jacket, so multiply $89 by 0.25 and that will tell you how much uh, discount is received on the jacket and then with that you can subtract that from your $89 Now we're going to find the original amount, so the 100% cost, if we know what the 
percentage we've currently got. So in this question we have 5% is equal to $45. For us to break this down, if 5% is $45, we want to find out what 1% is. So to do that, to find out what 1% is, we divide 45 by the amount in percent that we've got. And you should be able to do this in your head. 45 divided by 5 will be equal to 9. Okay, That means that 1% is equal to $9. Now if we know 1% is equal to $9, to find 100%, all we need to do is multiply that $9 figure by 100. So 100 times $9 is equal to 900. Now we can check that that's correct by taking $900 and working out what 5% of that is. So, $900, and as in the previous example, times that by the percent converted to a decimal, and you'll get $45.